channel. I'm Holly. Welcome. I'm happy to have you here. Today we're sharing the first Friday of every month. Uh, it's a foodie Friday. So we share any types of recipes that we like from breakfast, lunch, dinner, desserts, anything. And we hope that you find some great recipes in the playlist that I'm going to leave down below. So please be sure to click that link and go and check everyone's uh, recipes that they're making for this and it is being hosted by Tiffany at Small Town 6 so please be sure to go and check her channel out as well and she has lots of great content so I know that you would love her channel so please be sure to go and show her some love and check her channel out and now I'm going to show you what it is I made for this collaboration and I hope that you enjoy the video and for this Foodie Friday, I'm making a Tuscan chicken recipe. I've had to adjust, this is a Weight Watchers recipe, so I've had to adjust on the points because of some of the items I could not get. But the original has five points, mine has about seven or 7.3 if you're very strict on your points. But very easy to make and for this, I did, like I said, have to change out some things because I just couldn't find it in, in the store. But you'll have, the first thing you would need is a half a cup of sun-dried tomatoes without the oil. I could not find any at all. So I'm using uh, halved graped tomatoes, just like I said, cut in half. And two cups of baby spinach. You'll need two pounds of chicken breast, and you wanna just cut those into cubes, just or bite-sized pieces. 12 ounces of penne pasta, and you want that to be like a whole wheat, whole grain type uh, pasta. And, I, this, and it's uncooked. I'm going to cook mine though before adding it to the pan. One cup of low sodium chicken broth, three-fourths cup of plain Greek yogurt and I do have that now you need three-fourths cup of fat-free cottage cheese mine is low fat so it's going to have um, a little bit more points in it and Parmesan cheese so you'll need about two-thirds cup of Parmesan cheese and I think mine had a little bit different in points. For the seasoning, you'll need a half a tablespoon of Italian seasoning, a fourth teaspoon of black pepper, and either a fourth cup of fresh basil or one teaspoon of dried basil, and that's what I had, so that's what I'm going to use for this, and one tablespoon of minced garlic. And that is it for this, and you can always adjust this to suit your taste. Uh, this is the recipe I'm following. Spray a large skillet with some nonstick spray. Then add whichever tomatoes you're going to use. I absolutely would prefer sun-dried tomatoes, but like I said, could not get those. Then add your minced garlic. And you want to just toss that together. Uh, just make sure everything's kind of evenly distributed and get that garlic to season and flavor those tomatoes. Now you're gonna add the Italian seasoning and the pepper. You're not gonna add the basil yet. So then you will mix this up and same thing, about a minute or so, you will just uh, toss this around and you want just those flavors to kind of cook down a little bit with the tomatoes. Now add the chicken that you've cut up and that's about two large chicken breasts that I've used, which equaled two pounds. This makes a, a lot. So this will be a very, um, one of those meals that you can prep ahead of time and have in the fridge if you want this for nightly meals, or you can freeze it as well. Now I do add a little bit of garlic powder to the chicken, I feel like it just needs that no matter what. That's zero points, so I'm gonna add whatever, <laughs> how much I want. Uh, I just feel that helps to add some flavor, extra flavor. So you wanna cook your chicken until it's no longer pink. Then at this point is when you would add the uncooked pasta. 
but I've already cooked mine because I find this uh, whole grain type pasta doesn't cook as well like that but I added the cup of low sodium broth and at this point if it was uncooked pasta you would cover it and let it uh, cook until uh, the pasta was done but since my pasta is already done I'm just cooking it down a little bit trying to get just where there's some seasoning in with the chicken broth and everything while that's cooking I'm just adding the cottage cheese and the Greek yogurt and this has taken me a while to get used to because I'm used to cream cheese and sour cream and everything but <laughs> trying to do this healthier diet lifestyle it takes a little getting getting used to and I do like cottage cheese so that's not necessarily the problem I just don't like the Greek yogurt plain non-fat but you will just mix this up until it becomes more of a creamy texture now add the spinach and you just want to add a little bit at a time um, it does cook down to nothing basically but when you first add it it's a lot so you just don't want to have to stir this and things falling out of your pan uh, but just add that spinach and just carefully stir it into that pasta in the chicken then add your fresh basil and if you're adding the dried add that as well fresh basil would be really good I think but I can never get the fresh so I always keep the dried on hand just stir that up and it says to drain off any uh, extra liquid that's in there and I hate to do that because that's so much I think t you know flavor that's being taken out then add the cottage cheese and yogurt mixture and you just want to toss that into this pan now I do not find it makes it as creamy as I would have liked uh, as I said I'm used to using a lot of cheese and things like that in dishes like this now if you're making this and it's not Weight Watchers I would absolutely add whatever cheese you like with this um, mozzarella uh, Monterey Jack anything that would go with it so this does not have to be a Weight Watchers dish. This is definitely versatile. You can change this up to make it your own dish. Uh, that does not have to be, you know, for a diet. So just that's why I'm showing this because I feel like this is one of those that can be either or. <laughs> now add your Parmesan cheese at the end and you want to just make sure you toss it all in. And it does that does help a little bit with the flavor and just make sure that everything's mixed in that is basically it for this dish um, I feel as though it did need a little bit more flavor for me uh, other people may like like it just as it is but this is what it looks like when I plated it and after eating a few bites I was kind of like I added a little bit of salt to it because I just feel like it needed salt so that is one thing I don't think was added to it but a little bit of salt helped and I also added another uh, seasoning that I had and if I would have realized I still had this seasoning in my cabinet I would have used it <laughs> uh, in the beginning of the dish so this also could have uh, flavored it a little bit more this was good it just like I said I'm not I'm not used to things not having a lot of sauce or a lot of cheese on it but it's definitely a doable meal and mushrooms things like that would be good in this as well but this is the seasoning that I was talking about it's the Kingsford's garlic and herb and it's a Tuscan uh, seasoning and that's zero points so I did add some on top and that really changed the flavor to me. It did make it a lot uh, more palatable. 
Uh, it is good. Like I said, my taste buds are having to change a little bit with, with certain things that I'm using in my recipes. But overall, a very good meal. Like I said, if you're not doing Weight Watchers, you can do other ingredients in it. Cream cheese and sour cream, stuff like that. But this is what I had left over. So it may, it says six servings, but I think it's actually, to me, I feel like it's going to be a little bit more. Uh, and that's where your points will come in. With what I made, like I said, it's about seven points or so. The original recipe is about five for each serving. And please don't forget to check Tiffany's channel out and the playlist down below. I appreciate y'all so much for watching and sticking with me. Uh, during this uh, transition period of new recipes and things. But I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in seeing more like it, please click that subscribe button and the notification bell. That will notify you when I post new videos. Thank y'all so much for watching. God bless y'all.